I'm curious to understand, obviously this is a film with some very serious subject matter and the story of Eric's life. Yeah. How do you balance that into making it something that's also entertaining for an audience? Well, because in the end, although it goes to some very dark places, this, this is a love story or it's a story about what love can do. Because Eric was in a very bad way when he met Patty and by falling in love, that's what put him back together again. So it's quite a hopeful film in the end, I think. And it's a film about forgiveness and, and letting go of the bad things. So although it goes to some dark places, it brings you back into the light, I hope. And obviously this is the story of someone you knew quite well. Yeah. How do you then, I mean, what do you decide to keep in? What do you leave out? How do you create the artifice of a film around someone that is something so personal? So personal. Um, gosh, that's a tough question to answer. I mean, I think the thing is that because we saw so much of Eric, you could hear his voice the whole time. And Eric kind of, Eric read every draft of the script and corrected any kind of little errors. But at the same time, he was completely understanding about how the story had to be told, you know, the big, the love story with the happy ending and all that stuff. So he, was, he wanted that story to be out there. So he, was a good, he gave us his blessing. And how much of the film had Eric seen before? Yeah. Oh, he didn't see any of the film. He saw stills and he came to the set, which was absolutely wonderful. I mean, just... I think one of the best days of my life. He was so happy and we had such a great time. And in a way, that's what this film is about, that you can go to the darkest place and survive. And there can be days when it's just happy and fun and friends and cake. We had a lot of cake. Um, yeah, so he didn't see any of the film because who would you want to remind him of what he'd been through, you know? Marvellous. Thank you very much, Thank Frank. You. Congratulations, sir.